welcome to the Reconnection Club podcast, the show that helps parents heal troubled relationships with their adult sons and daughters. I'm your host, psychotherapist Tina Gilbertson. Each week, I'll offer you compassion, clarity, and personal development tips designed to help you reconnect, not only with your child, but with yourself. Now let's get started. Did you decide to parent your children exactly the same way your parents did you? Often when I'm talking with parents estranged from one or more of their adult children, they tell me they tried very hard to parent differently in certain respects from the way they themselves were reared. Maybe they were left alone more often than they wanted to be, or they were criticized more than necessary. Maybe a parent leaned too heavily on them emotionally or failed to save for their education. Whatever was true for them growing up, they swore their own children would have a better experience. But regardless of whether they feel successful, they now find themselves estranged from the very children they tried so hard to protect. How does this happen? How do you either not end up parenting the way you intended to, or How does parenting so differently still lead to a breakdown in the parent-child relationship? Well, that's a complex question, and I don't have a simple answer. But there are some common blind spots that good parents can fall prey to, just like a conscientious driver who may not know the blind spots of a particular vehicle. And one of the biggest blind spots that causes trouble in the parent-child relationship is what I'll call the do-over principle. It's not a new idea, and it's exactly what I opened with on this episode. It's parenting based on the weak spots in your own childhood. It's a focus on providing your child or children with the good stuff you needed and didn't get. It's a generous and frankly noble impulse, in my opinion, to try to do unto others better than what was done unto you. I respect that choice deeply and I find it tragic when it backfires on parents. I believe there are a few reasons why this might happen, and I'm going to describe the workings of the do-over principle and why it fails in the interest of turning this blind spot into practical and hopefully healing knowledge. One problem with a do-over in parenting is that with a focus on revisiting a flawed childhood, your benchmark has to be the child you were, rather than the child or children you have. You yourself had emotional needs as a child that were normal and natural and were supposed to have been adequately met by the adults in your life so that when you grew up, you had the tools and the skills to continue getting your own needs met as well as helping others with their needs. Emotional needs that aren't adequately met when we're children don't expire just because we grow up. We all have, broadly speaking, the same basic needs as adults. Acceptance, visibility, belonging, connection. We need these things throughout our lives. Childhood is just our first chance to start learning and building a base of emotional and social well-being. If some of your needs remain unmet in adulthood, As a parent, you could easily miss cues that say whether your child needs a hug right now or how capable a particular child is of handling something on his own. Many parents who didn't get a fair start on a full emotional bucket will need to reparent themselves, in a sense, by acknowledging and actively addressing any shortfalls. Until you have been parented well yourself, your parenting will tend to reference your own emotional bucket first. And it can't be any other way, because if your needs haven't been met, you cannot function at full capacity until they are. This is what makes them needs and not just wants or nice-to-haves. Giving your children what you needed and didn't get is a beautiful impulse, and it can and probably does work for many. The problem is when the motivation is hidden from the parent The decision itself may be entirely conscious and very well known and elaborated by the parent, but the emotional underpinnings, including still unmet basic emotional needs, can remain in the shadows of the unconscious 
and that creates a blind spot. So that's one way the do-over principle can leave good parents struggling. In a sense, they're trying to right the wrongs of the past through their parenting instead of responding to the needs of the present, importantly, including their own. For some discussion of reparenting yourself, by the way, listen to episode 52, Reparenting from the Inside Out. You can find that at reconnectionclub.com slash 52. The second problem with the do-over principle is quite a bit simpler to grasp, I think. If your emotional bucket wasn't filled adequately in childhood, then you may not have acquired the specific tools to parent the way you wanted to all those years ago. One of our members inside the Reconnection Club brought this up in our forums. She said she was determined to give her children some of the skills her parents didn't know how to give her, but looking back, she realized she didn't know how to teach those skills either. In thinking about her own parents, she caught an intergenerational view of parents doing the best they could with the resources they possessed. This is why the focus of the Reconnection Club and everything I produce for parents, including this podcast, is you. It's all about giving you what you need to reparent yourself well so that no matter what happens, your life gets better. In the next episode, I'll talk some more about the blind spot created by the do-over principle. Until then, remember that you are a loving lovable, and still growing human being. So please take good care of yourself. Bye for now. If you've enjoyed this episode of the Reconnection Club podcast, I invite you to check out reconnectionclub.com. The Reconnection Club is for parents at any stage of estrangement from their adult, child, or children. So whether you've just realized there's trouble between you, you've been living with estrangement for years, or you're newly reconciled but still walking on eggshells, the Reconnection Club is your essential resource for information, support, and continued personal growth. With our courses and workshops, expert interviews, monthly Q&A calls, and a friendly, active community, the Reconnection Club is a wonderful place to be for anyone suffering the pain of estrangement from an adult, child, or children. So check it out at reconnectionclub.com.